Good morning everyone. It is Thursday morning the 30th of July and we're going to read together Psalm 34 this morning. Let's hear God's word. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. In my desperation, I prayed and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. Taste and see that the Lord is good, or the joys of those who take refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his godly people, for those who fear him will have all they need. Even strong lions sometimes go hungry, but those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. Come, my children, and listen to me, and I will teach you to fear the Lord. Does anyone want to live a life that is long and prosperous and keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. His ears open are open to their cries for help. But the Lord turns his face against those who are evil. He will erase their memory from the earth. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to rescue, he comes to the rescue each time. For the Lord protects the bones of the righteous, not one of them is broken. Calamity will surely overtake the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. But the Lord will redeem those who serve him. No one who, can, who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Amen. That's Psalm 34. Again, another brilliant psalm, another amazing psalm. Uh, so much in it. Just one thing I want to highlight this morning. Um, in verse 9 it says, Fear the Lord, you his godly people, for those who fear him will have all that they need. We sometimes take that word fear and we look at it the wrong way. When we think of fear, we think of being scared, um, trembling, um, and you know, we're afraid of what might happen to us. But the true meaning of the word fear is to have respect for God. We live in a very different world. Um, it's changed over the years. Um, it's a world where, at one stage, where there was respect for different people um, and respect for God. Maybe that has gone. Yes, we live in an informal world, uh, and we talk about how that is great, how we're not stuffy, how um, we're more approachable. But when it comes to God, there's still that sense of respect and reverence that we need to have. When we realise just exactly who God is, that he is the one that made everything that's around us, that he is the one who, who understands us, that he is the one who sent his son Jesus as our saviour, you know, it's having a respect and a reverence um, for God and that, that's what fear is, it's giving God his proper place in our lives, it's giving him first place because that's the place that he wants to be in, he doesn't want to play second fiddle to anything else. Uh, he doesn't want to be an afterthought. God wants to be the centre of our lives. And when we get that right, and we get God in the right place, then everything else starts to fall into place. That, that's what that psalm is talking about. How whenever we have God in the right place, and um, we then give him the respect that everything else starts to fall into order, uh, and that he takes care of us. It's by no means a promise that life will be easy. Uh, don't, don't mistake it for that. Things do happen that we have no control over, uh, that we wonder why, that, and that will continue to happen. 
as I've often said, you know, when you look at the book of James, it doesn't say what if trouble comes your way, it says when trouble comes your way. You know, so expect life at times to be hard and difficult. But when we have God in our lives, then we can face it. We can come through it. There is always that path to walk. Um, but it's about giving God the right place, having the fear, the reverent fear uh, of God for our lives. So yeah, as we go about our work today, you know, and as you go about life today, just think about that, about where God is in your life um, and how we can continue to put him in the first place in everything that we do. Let's pause and let's pray together. Father, thank you again for your word and for what it teaches us and what it shows us. Lord, help us to have that reverent fear of you, a right respect of who you are and what you have done for us. Lord, just help us to get you into the first place in our lives, knowing that whenever we do that and we take time with you, then everything else does start to fall into place. Lord, yes, there'll still be struggles, and help us with those struggles, but help us to keep our eyes firmly fixed upon you. Father, we thank you now and always. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks, folks. See you again tomorrow morning. In the meantime, take care and God bless. Bye.